G'day viewers, welcome to Wanga Fat Wednesday, where I tell you who am I not giving a fuck about today. And today, I'm not giving a fuck about the multitude of mouth-breathing morons who managed to get themselves worked up over MP Ed Husick uh, being sworn in on the Quran. Uh, Ed happens to be the first Australian Muslim politician to be promoted to a ministerial role, and he had to swear an oath, and of course, uh, if you're swearing an oath, you either swear it on a holy book or you make an affirmation. Ed, being a Muslim, swore on the Quran, not the Bible, which led to one of the more bizarre outpourings of stupidity I've seen in a little while. Now, I've never made a secret of the fact that I find racists and bigots to be profoundly stupid and fucked individuals. But these ones have gone on the not given a fuck list, not just because they're idiotic, bigoted fuckwits, but because of the layer upon layer of stupidity behind what they're doing. They're like, my favourite one where they're going, oh, it's unconstitutional, because I assume they see that on the TV, on an American show they watch. These people probably call 911 to get the police as well. It's triple zero in Australia, but we watch a lot of American TV, so we're hearing 911. And again, oh, it's unconstitutional, says the fucking idiot who has never even looked at the Australian Constitution. They've got this idea that oh, it's, got, it's got amendments and it's got this and it's Australian! Shut up, you fucking idiots! It's not unconstitutional. You wouldn't know the first fucking thing about the Constitution. So just shut up, just brain farting words that you think mean something, but they actually don't. And the second thing, oh, respect our way of life. You should have sworn on the Bible. God, I would say, think about that for a minute. But these are people that I think probably can't be allowed to eat with metal implements or they'll fucking seriously injure themselves spouting off what they heard on Talkback Radio that day. Oh, dare another thing about the fucking Muslims. They're not ruined by not oh, Fucking Muslims have stabbed me. What's going on? Oh, and it's just like saying a Muslim should have sworn in on the Bible means you're a fucking idiot! Well, you, it's supposed to be something that means you'll keep your word. So, you know, therefore, if you think the Bible means anything, you swear on that. And, you know, Magic Sky Fairy will be mad at you if you break your word. If you're a Muslim, you would swear on the Quran. It doesn't make any sense to swear on the Bible. For fuck's sake, if a Muslim swore in on the Bible, that's when you don't believe them. That's when you don't trust them. Because that's not their holy book. You fucking idiots. Oh my god. I, you know, I regard all interpretations of the Magic Sky Fairy equally. As in a total waste of my time. And so, for all these fucking idiots who can't wrap their head around the fact there are some people who believe different things to them and have different value systems, the fact that you got upset that someone swore in on a book that you don't consider to be the holy book? Congratulations! Now you fucking know what the atheists feel like. If you can't wrap your head around something that simple, you're an utter moron and I don't give a fuck about you.